Hello friends, how are you? Happy New Year! I know it's been a long time since I have recorded a, a sort of face-to-face -face video. Um, the reason being was, one, I didn't really feel like it. Um, two, at the beginning of December I went off to Denmark, to Copenhagen, for uh, a couple of days just to go and see the Christmas markets and stuff. I really, really enjoyed that. I've actually, there's a, there is a vlog up on my channel that gives you just a wee snippets of bits and pieces that I saw while I was there. And then I just came home and it was like full tilt into Christmas and I just didn't have the energy. Um, although I did read, oh, excuse me. <sighs> yes, I'm doing an awful lot of yawning. I'm very tired today. Um, but yeah, I was reading, I, I was taking part in the seasons of reading Christmas readathon. So I, I think I ended up doing something like 10 books or something like that and watched loads of Christmas movies. I've actually got so many Christmas movies, I recorded them. I've got so many of them still to watch. It's great. I can probably be watching Christmas movies throughout the whole of the year now. So that'll, that'll be fun. That'll be nice whenever I feel like I, I feel good movie, just chuck a Christmas one on. But I hope you had a really nice Christmas and New Year. Ours was very quiet, which was lovely. It was just really, really nice. Um, it's amazing. It's The time is flying already. It's like, it doesn't feel that it was like maybe only about three, four weeks ago that it was Christmas. And it's like, where's time gone? Um, it just seems as if it never happened. Um, but yeah, that was it. So I'm here to sort of let you see what I was reading this weekend. If you keep up with me on Instagram, you will know I sort of tend to pick take a picture of all the books I'm reading as when, as and when I'm reading them. So you'll know what I have been reading. But the book I finished over the weekend was Celtic Empire by Clive Cussler and Dirk Cussler. Love this one. It's a Dirk Pitt. Dirk Pitt has to be my favourite Clive Cussler uh, character. Um, this one was set in sort of like Egypt and Ireland and Scotland. It was actually set up, part of it is up in Loch Ness way, up by Urquhart Castle and Drumdrochet. So that was really, that was great. It was really nice to sort of have a book that had those that area in it. It's one that I'm very familiar with, so I kind of knew where he was. The only thing that irked me about this was that he, caught, he was rightly to call Loch Ness Loch, which is great, but then he refers it to it as a lake. I'm sorry, it's not a lake, it's a loch. Um, in Scotland, I think we've only got one, if I'm right, we've only got one lake and that's the Lake of Menteith. Everything else is sort of either a loch, a lochan, a firth or a sound. There you go. All the bits of water. There. So that kind of irked me because you'd be reading about, oh, he was driving along beside Loch Ness and the lake looked and I'm like, no, it's a ruddy loch. So that kind of got to me. I'm kind of not pedantic about these things, but I am. If you're going to call something something, then stick to the right name. But hey ho, I would recommend it. I love this book. It really good. It took me two days to read. And then I started Keep the Midnight Out by Alex Gray. This was one of the books I got for Christmas. And this one's set on Mull, the island of Mull. So I don't, I've been to Mull um, and I used to sail into Mull, into Tobermory when we were going to Tyree. So it's nice to have. Um, that connection with this book again. Also part of it's set in Glasgow. It's like two different time frames, which is nice in some ways, but it does get very annoying because you've got to try and remember what you're, what bit you're at. But so that's, that's what I'm reading. That was it. What, what else do we do this weekend? This weekend was just went and got mum a new laptop. That was a saga in itself, but never mind. Um, and I've just plottered about or plutered about nothing 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 major so please let me know down below what you've been reading uh, it'd be really nice to know what have you been doing what was your christmas like what was your new year like um have you made any new year's resolutions have you set yourself a reading target i've done one i've set myself a 50 books on goodreads and i'll just see how i go with that i've got to try and just keep remembering to actually update it that's a, that is a thing. Oh, that's what I got for Christmas. I want to show you. I got myself this. Well, I didn't get it for me. I got it for my aunt for my Christmas. And it's really good because what you do is you... It gives you... I've still got to fill, fill in the Clive Cussler one. But it gives you the book and then you've got categories and you can put your own in. And you see so got, it's got a hundred of those. And then it just shows you... You then have each book numbered and you fill in all the details. So... I got this and I'm planning to um, 
keep going with this all year. I think it'll be really, really interesting to look back on. Well, I'm so sorry that I keep you on ahead. I don't know why. Um, but so that was that's my goal for this year. Have you made any other resolutions? Um, are you going to do anything new this year? I thought that this year I might try a new craft. So I do crochet. I do cross stitch. Um, I do card making. Well, card making on the computer. I may go to a card making class. The, um, our local hobby craft, which is a craft store, have free um, classes for craft for various crafts, and card making is one of them. So I think I might go along to that just to sort of see what it's about and stuff like that. But what I would really like to do is I would like to do more calligraphy. I'd like to learn to do more calligraphy and lettering. So that's what I've chosen for this year is going to be kind of my new new craft to try and learn and just enjoy but that's it for this video guys hope you've had a really lovely weekend and the start of 2020 has been a good one for you and i promise i will see you at the weekend you may never know you might get a three for one this weekend because mom and dad have said they quite like to maybe join me in doing like friday reads or weekend reads videos so that you can find out what they're reading as well. If you have any ideas to any other kind of videos that you want, please let me know down below and I'll see what I can do and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.